Yes, sir, that's a good edge. Mm hmm. Hmm? I need this to be six inches, not four inches. Don't worry, Travis. I can help you out. My mission, should I choose to accept it, is to make this four inch hole in this cornhole board into a six inch hole. Anyhow, if I had a six inch hole saw, I could mount the four inch inside of that and use that as a guide to drill out a six inch hole. If I had a jigsaw, I could cut this out. Coping saw on the actual board that he had would not have fit. And indeed, I'd still have a problem over here on this one. So here's what we're doing with the router. Okay, to accomplish this mission, I'm going to mount this scrap piece of plywood on the bottom of my router and make it into a guide and it will pivot on this uh, pivot that came with my router. Unfortunately, the guide that came with it can't do an arc this small, only three inch radius. But that's okay, we'll make our own custom piece. To start, I'll remove the uh, plastic base plate off of my router. Dropping the screws into the nether, never to find them again. And then I will trace this screw pattern onto my plywood. Now I've chosen the drill bit, the same diameter as my screws. So now I will drill out these three holes to mount the plywood on the base of my router. And of course I will countersink those holes so the screw heads do not protrude. See their pan heads. I attach the plywood to the base of the router. It should be noted, don't use cheap plywood with voids in here. If that came loose during operation, you'd be sad. All right, so I've got that on there. I say, Leif, you're, you are stupid. You forgot to hole. And I reply to you, stupid like a fox. This is a down cut spiral bit, so the upward facing bit of our work will be the clean edge. So now I've got a guide hole. Let's lock that out. Now I can draw, drill out a larger portion to allow for some dust evacuation. No downward pressure. So for our last trick, We're going to measure three inches. That's the radius of a six inch diameter hole off of the far side of our cutting bit. And that's going to be the center of our hole for our pivot. This is all upside down, of course. Center punch. Clearly the smart thing to do would be to remove this from the base so I don't drill a hole into my router plate, but I'm going by hand, so this will be okay. Boom, there's our pivot. So now the whole thing can rotate around that point to cut out a six inch hole. Let's see that in practice. Well, I forgot to record the actual thing, so you're getting a dramatic reenactment. I've mounted this pivot to a backer board. And then we simply center the board we want to cut around that pivot and clamp everything down. 
All right, then our router jig goes on that pivot point. I should note I'm using the plunge base for this. Simple as that. One six incher coming right up for you, Travis. The plywood on the base of the router. Take two. Uh, ooh. Here's your audio clip wave. Idiot, leaving that plugged in. Jesus. Hey! Hey!